Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Marcy with The Rusty Blonde. If you're new here, welcome. Um, today I thought I would do a different type of video. Um, I tend to sometimes, anyways, some of the people I watch on YouTube, I like to see what they what they carry around and it gives me ideas on what I should and shouldn't have in my purse. Um, it, kind of, it sounds kind of silly, but um, they're actually kind of fun to watch, some of them. So I thought I, was, I would try it and do my first one. Um, what inspired me was um, my oldest sister, Audrey. She carries this little backpack and it is like a magic bag. She has everything you can think of in her bag. And um, anyways, it's all nice and compact and tidy in her bag. And I was just amazed at how literally anything you need, she has in her bag. So um, for years, I... I've always been a purse girl. I love different purses. I wear different bags to coordinate with my outfits or my outings, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and so anyways, but um, since Christmas, I, I was given a bunch of Christmas money and I purchased um, a new coach bag. And this has been my everyday bag since it's got um, two pockets here, side pockets, one. It looks a lot bigger in the video, but it's not a big purse. Another side pocket, but it's, it's a satchel bag, so I can grab it with, with the handles, or it has the long strap to wear it crossbody. So when I'm in the stores, I wear it crossbody, but, um, to just grab and go, I just, I just love this bag. I think it's beautiful. It's, my style anyways it's functional um it looks like a smaller bag but it holds a ton of crap but um anyways so my whole life well my whole adult life i have used different bags and purses to coordinate with myself and what i'm doing and um i always had different bags and i call them whatnot bags um a bag that you know would hold receipts and coupons and stuff like that and then another bag would hold like my makeup and then another bag would hold uh whatever if i was uh budgeting i would have my money bag so anyways i just had all these three or four different bags within my purse and um after seeing my sisters i was like oh my gosh i can do this and i can try and find something that I can create and do and put together for my little bag that I carry. Now this, I, I would probably call this a medium size bag. Um, it's probably a foot wide by probably five inches wide, maybe four or five inches wide. And then maybe like seven inches tall would be my guess. Um, so, I, I normally carry a regular long wallet in there, but um, recently being in quarantine, I have started a project and I am converting, I do the Dave Ramsey cash system and I've been doing this for a few years now and it works really well. For a while there I stopped and I was out of control, but um, we're back on track since Christmas and so I have converted a planner into my wallet. So, and I'm gonna do a full video on this too because I think it's awesome. But basically this half of my planner is where I budget out my cash in the different categories. So um, anyways, it's been awesome. But since quarantine, I haven't been able to go out and use it a lot. But um, anyway, so this is my planner. This is now my wallet. So my wallet planner, is the first thing in my bag and it fits right inside there um i have a pen here also i have paper in here in case i have to take notes i have a little calendar and um anyways like i said my money my cards and things like that so that's my first thing in my bag my second thing um i'm gonna do the outer two pockets in this back pocket this is just where i carry my keys so that's easy and then in the front pocket I carry my phone which I'm using now so I can't show you and then I have a couple receipts in here 
Um, so that's what I carry on my outside pocket. So as far as the inside, my planner wallet is the first thing. And let's see. And the only other bag I carry is I have one whatnot bag. And this has everything you can think of in it. This bag was purchased at um, Joann's. It's just a thin little plastic bag. I just liked how it had these vintage characters on it. But it was perfect for my purse. So now I will go through that and show you what is in there. Um, so basically, now my purse is empty. Other than my keys and... Oh, I lied. This is where I keep my change. It's in a little tiny tin. So I have this for my change and then in the, it has an inner pocket. So in that I have two of my little water enhancers. So other than that, now it's empty. I have my planner and my whatnot bag. And in my whatnot bag, I carry my AirPod case. Isn't this so cute? I just love it. It's a little Coco Chanel perfume bottle. Um, I have, these are dental picks. Awesome. What else? I have my mini vintage. It's not vintage. It's just a vintage line. Um, it's a tape measure. So it's compact. It's itty bitty. And I don't know. I always feel like I need to measure something, whether it's if I'm buying frames or tablecloth. I don't know. I don't know. It's just great to have. Um, I have my little nail kit which this is really cool. It's meant for a purse. It's made by a tweezer man. So it literally has tweezers, nail clippers, a nail file, and then it looks like a cuticle cleaner and nail cleaner in it. So it's small, it's compact, it fits in my hand. It's awesome. Um, the next thing I have is my hand cream. Uh, this hand cream is really cool. Um, in the summertime, I put hand, sunscreen on my hands while I drive, especially my left one, because I feel like it's in the sun a lot. And I always have it on my face with cream and stuff and my arms and shoulders, but I feel like your hands, you know, when you're older, you get age spots and stuff. So anyways, this is made by Super Goop. And um, it's got 40 SPF in it. So this comes in handy when you want sunscreen on the go. Um, and I like it because it's super thin too. It's not like the little travel sunscreen bottles you get. So I have that. And then uh, my mom just gave me this little, I did have a Tide pen stick in here, but this is pre-spot. It's an instant stain remover. And this we buy through Melaleuca. But um, anyways, it's just, can't open it. It's brand new. She just gave it to me. But it's a little roll-on. So if you spill or anything, you just roll it on and it'll take care of that for you. Um, the next thing I have in here are my little travel tissues. I buy the thin packs of what I keep in my purse. I wear glasses, so I keep these alcohol wipes in there. I use it for my glasses and to clean my phone and stuff if I need to. Um, I have regular hand cream in there. This is my favorite hand cream, by the way. It's made by Gold Bond, and it's a healing hand cream, and I have really dry skin. I think part of that is because I don't. For a long time, I wasn't drinking enough water. Um, Anyways, I've changed that habit, but um, so it's been better. But now I faithfully put my lotion on my entire body every day. It's great. So I bought a little tube for my hands because I love it. Then I just have a little Ziploc of different size Band-Aids um, from big to small. So I keep that in there. Huh. I just found more lens wipes. Oh gosh, I have a bunch. Jeez. Okay, and then this, this is a little pill organizer. And again, it fits in my hand, so it's nice and compact and small. I got this off of Amazon. Well, most of the stuff, I, a lot of this stuff I got off of Amazon. But um, anyways, this is great because um, I have, so inside of it, I have um, motion sickness pills. I have Tylenol. I have Motrin. I have my allergy medicine. 
I have Benadryl in case one of my kids has an allergic reaction or whatever. And then I have my Citalopram, which is my daily medication. But um, it has this little tray that comes out. It's really nice and handy. And then in the bottom of it, it had a sticky card. So I just basically divided it into the six cubbies. I wrote what was in each cubby. And so the tray is plastic. So you stick it on top and then you can see through and know which each one is. But this was a great way because I ended up having a million different little bottles in my bag and it was too much. And then um, I have this little thing. This little case, it also fits in my hand. It's about probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches thick. But this was from, um, I had a Petunia Pickle Bottom uh, baby carrier for my first son, Blake. So we're talking 12 years ago. Um, anyways, and it came with two of the stroller clips in this. And I just held on to this container because I loved it. And now I use it in my purse. So within this little container, I have compact mini scissors. These are great. I got these at uh, Joann's too. But anyways, it's, it's really nice to have scissors on the go and not huge ones. Um, so those fold up nicely. I converted a... This was a little Tylenol bottle, and I just put a cute little label on it. It's Tums. Sometimes um, I get acid reflux or heartburn, and anyways, I just, some, every once in a while, eating at a restaurant or whatever, I need Tums, and this was a perfect little tiny container of it. Then I keep this guy in there. These are those disposable toothbrush that have the little pocket I don't, can you see that? It has a little bubble and it just gives you a burst of, and then a, a burst of freshness. You can brush your teeth and then it's got a little picker for you to pick your teeth if you need to. Um, chapstick because you never know when you need chapstick. I keep a to-go tampon in there. It fits in there because it's a to-go one. I keep dental floss because my husband always needs dental floss. He has an air pocket and stuff gets in there. Then I have my little sunglasses screw. This is awesome for tightening your um, screws and whatnot. And then I have my little, I have these things that lay flat on the bottom. So I have a tiny, these little baggies are from buttons that you, that come on shirts and clothing when you buy them. I, for some reason, I kept them all and I finally emptied all of the buttons into a little container. And so I keep a few bobby pins in there. I keep three safety pins in there. I keep a hair tie and little rubber bands in there. And then I have my little sewing kit with needles and thread. So that goes in the bottom and it's just really nice. It all fits in here nice and tidy. And um, I kind of love it. Yeah, I do. I'm a dork. I like all these little containers, but it fits so nicely in here. So that's that. And then the other thing I have in here is I am a makeup freak. Um, I have backups for my backups. And so what I do is as it is getting older or as I buy new, as my lip liner gets small, I convert it to my purse one. So I have my everyday lipstick and lip liner and then my eyeliner and mascara if I ever need to touch up. I have allergies really bad and my eyes water like crazy, so sometimes I need to touch up, which I used to carry my whole makeup bag, so this is a big improvement for me. And then I have my awesome Poker Face Fred Mirror. Let me just pull this out for you. It's pretty awesome. It's a mirror, I love it aces it's just fun I bought it because it was super thin so this is great so anyways and then I have my vape stuff batteries and juice but anyways that is what I carry in my purse and all of this is in one bag which is freaking awesome so um 
anyways, it's just fun to see what other people carry in their bags and um, it gives you ideas or it was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't carry that or whatever. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, maybe it ga gives you some ideas of what you can carry in yours or maybe what not to carry in yours. Um, when I have a, when I use my little purses, I have to downsize a lot. So, um, but anyways, same with my planner, but I'm a bag freak. So I have little wallets for my little purses and things like that. Anyways, it's a problem, but I love it. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and you can, let's see, I'm going to be making I have all sorts of videos. I've been writing down my ideas and anyways, um, next week I'll be doing another video and I haven't decided if I'm going to do my planner because that's awesome or I'll probably do my planner or I've been doing, um, the fly lady control journal. Um, and I just started that and I'm on day three of the morning routine, but anyways, so stay tuned for those videos. Um, if you want to be notified when I d upload a video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Bye.